Hello my darlings and welcome back to San Myshuno. We are back in the Arts Quarter at Skywalk Square. We will be furnishing the upstairs bar area and also making a start on the front facade of the photography studio and gallery. So let's get started. Happy Tuesday everybody and welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome back to Skywalk Square. I was going to say Market Square then for a minute and then I caught myself just in time before I made a fool of myself. Hello, welcome back. You know what we're getting on with today. We are going to furnish up the bar area. It's not going to be like an alcohol bar per se. I'm thinking more along the lines of like a juice bar, you know. So I might put a bar in but I might also put one of those little um, bubble tea counters in here as well. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And then what we're going to do is come over this way and we're going to start on the facade um, or the actual structure of the photography studio. We're going to do like a little mini, this is my thoughts, we're going to do like a little mini uh, gallery underneath with some stairs in, on the interior. And then upstairs is going to be the photography studio, but I'm going to maybe cantilever the photog photography studio over the actual um, gallery underneath just so we've got a bit more room down the bottom here to do a small like urban park there's not going to be much in this park we're gonna have some trees we're gonna help use these same benches that i'm seeing everywhere in the fashion district these ones here um and just have a little area where people can come and sit and, you know just chill out so that's what we're gonna do today yes we are so let's move on <gasps> hello happy tuesday how, how are you all how are you all this week yes indeed um Thank you so much for all your wonderful comments and hello to all these new people i've had so many new subscribers recently and it's been a move of joy it really is so hello everybody welcome to this wonderful weird disgustingly filth community um everybody is lovely here uh it's it's just nice to see you it really really is um, also, before I forget, please go and check out the little post that I've done on my community tab here on YouTube. It just answers some questions that I've seen um, time and time again throughout these past few weeks. Uh, so if you are wondering like where my save files have gone, um, when is the Brindleton Bay coming out, uh, what else, where are my bills going up on the gallery, it answers it all in there. So yeah, go and have a little look. Anyway, hello, here we go, let's make a start. So we need a bar. Now I'm thinking, as I said, I'm thinking about putting the bubble tea bar in here as well, but aesthetically, I don't know. Ah, oh, it's not too bad. And that does look kind of cute. And that colorway fits in here quite nicely because it's got the black trim on it as well. I don't think anything else is going to fit in here. Oh, even that one there does too. Um, I think we'll go with that one there though. So if we've got that, can we put in a bar next to it? Uh, oh, the black's quite nice, actually. <gasps> I didn't think that was going to work. I mean, the wood tone is a bit off, but I can forgive that. I can forgive that. I really can. Yeah, no, I kind of liked the black one. Let's have a little look again, please. No, that's the wrong one, Aiden, for goodness sake. This one here. Oh, oh, am I going to have the same kind of moment as what we've got downstairs, but not with all the counters going around it this time? I just want like a really nice centralised bar moment in the middle. Um, and I might, like, find some way of fencing this off so people are not like, oh, do I want to do that? No, I don't know if I do, actually. I think I want this a full bar moment now that it's here. I'm not really enjoying this bubble tea thing either. So what about if we put the bar over this area here? If we put the bar here... Yeah, I'm kind of feeling it on that side because then what we can do is do the greenery behind it with some of the like alcohol bottles and that up on the wall. Yeah, I think we're going to go down this route. The only problem with using this bar is we can't really match it in with any counters. So it, it is going to have to just be kind of freestanding, a freestanding bar, which I don't normally tend to like, but we're going to do it anyway. Maybe I could put some screens or something there. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to do some like dividers. Maybe just on this side here. I'll do that now while we're here, you know. So let's get these dividers out. These ones here, please. Yes, you. And I would... Oh, actually, saying that, we could use the city living ones instead because they kind of stand on the floor by themselves. And I'd rather that, you know, than going about willy-nilly trying to get them done. Yeah, we'll do this instead. So we're going to box in just one area. Just like one side even, sorry. Just so we have got... Um, 
one side that's not kind of like open yeah yeah that just shuts off a little bit i like that i like that but i am going to put more um two next to each other like this which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass but i think that'd be okay stunning anyway hello how was your weekends mine was good i'm very tired uh puppy training is very hard so my hat's off to anybody that goes through with the puppy training i know what it's like i've done it before and i you kind of forget <laughs> You kind of forget how hard it is. So as I've said, in these next few weeks coming up, if I have to miss a few videos here and there and streams and stuff, um, that will be the reason because Daisy is at kind of teething stage now. And we all know what that means. Bitey, bitey madam. That's what she is. Um, she's very good. I've taught her lots of tricks already. Um, she can sit. She can uh, give me her paw. Um, she's just she's just adorable. But yeah. Um, that is your update. Little daisy update for you. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. I do like that indeed. I do. I just want to testicle something. I just want to absolutely testicle something. What about if I just did a little black moment behind this part? Oh, I like that. Yes, I do enjoy that. It's making... Should we try and darken the floor down as well? Mm. If I darken this floor down, I'm going to have to darken the outside too, I think. Let me see what that would look like with the build. Oh, I like that as well. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, yeah, I'm into that. Just so it's got a little bit of a different feel to downstairs. Downstairs is a little bit more airy and whatnot. I think I'm going to do those vents up here as well. I'm going to do those vents up here. So, lovely little moment we've got going on. Yes, for it. Cracking on then. So, let's get some tables and chairs laid out. Let's, let's do some bar stools here first. Before we move on to the table and chairs, let's get that lovely green wall at the back here. And what a couple of you guys said, why don't you put up a neon sign? And I don't think I want to do that for downstairs, but upstairs, I think we'll put a little neon sign on this like little living wall we've got going on. Is that a bit overkill? I think that's a bit overkill. I think it needs to be a little bit less than that. Uh, if I can bring you to here, bring you to there and whiffle this one over to here as well. Yeah. Something like that. Lovely. So let's uh, let's have a little look at some neon signs. See what we can put up here. I've gone for that. I got rid of some of the greenery. Only because when I put the drinks in there, they just kind of disappeared behind it. So I've gone for that pink neon sign that I'm thinking about changing for green. For some reason, it's not allowing me to do it. But I'll do that off camera anyway. But this neon sign, I think, would just look better in green. I think it would fit the aesthetic a little bit more. But it's good in the pink as well. But not the kind of vibe I want to go for in here. But that looks nice. I like that area. So because we've done that, let's get up a little speaker up onto the wall area here. And we'll do it in a black so it blends in. There we go. Gorgeous. Yes, I'm for it. I'm thinking, right, those doors will slide open that way. So I could put some greenery here. I'm thinking plants. I think plants would look great in this space. Um, so I'm going to go for some nice plantage. I think you would look good. I'm going to put you to like there that is right by the door but that's fine it's fine we can see past it i just think it would really work in this place oh for it yes and we're going to copy the uh i don't know if i want to do the table and chairs oh actually i might we'll do a mixture maybe or should we just have this as a bar area <gasps> do you know what i'm going to do i'm going to do um these tables with bar stools but i'm also going to put some loungy chairs in here as well i think just to make it a little bit more of a moment, you know? Let's do that. I'm going to put in these tables and chairs here. I think that's in a good enough spot there, to be honest. I might just open that space up just a little bit more like that. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. I like that. I do. I'm going to copy those plants as well and put those plants on top. One up there, my darling. And one up there as well. A little twisty. Oh, stunning. Yes. But as I said, I want some like loungy chairs around here. I'm thinking not sofas, just like armchairs, but like communal. So they're all kind of sat together. Loving that for us. Um, so let me find the perfect chair. Now, I know the wood tone is slightly off on the here, but I really love these chairs in here. I just think they would match in with the vibe that we're going for. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. Right. So if we're... Oh, oh I've not painted that wall. Uh, I can see it. I can see it. We're going to do it now because I know it's going to annoy all of us, myself included um come here you little shit right oh you're still concrete as well how very dare you who 
the hell invited you, you know? Okay, so we've got that moment. I think what I'm going to do, there's two doors there. So if I did like a little table and chairs, like a, a little couple of chairs like that. And then I think this one here would work well with four. Um, Sorry, I've got the hiccups. If I can plop, maybe, let's just get four out and I'll put them into some kind of um position it's not really working i don't think these facing outwards for some reason but they'll, they'll be next to the window they'll be next to the window they'll be able to turn the necks crane the necks and look out if they may wish and we'll do a nice little low coffee table with all of these i think using probably the base game one the new base game one i love that coffee table i've been using it today is it coffee table no it's a side table isn't it but i've been using it as a coffee table i have i've been absolutely using it as a side table a coffee table a coffee table <laughs> and i'm on about this one this one here maybe we should go for oh is there not no oh there is an all black one yeah we'll go for an all black one so i'll flop you down to there like that you can go in the middle of these like that yeah that's cute again using those plants as well i'm going to put those plants down there and have a big plant in the middle of here uh i would love to use that big leafy boy but i think the pot swatches just won't be the ticket. Oh, maybe I could try and use. Try and use oh, 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 I don't know. Let me, maybe I could separate that area off. Like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I could just put that in between so it kind of acts as a little bit of separation. <laughs> yes, I'm full of that. I am. It's almost making me want to put two more chairs here or even just one more chair. Let's have a look. Let me have a little. You know what? I can't put another one because the door's right there. So it's just going to have to be a little three moment there. Which is fine. Yep. Yeah. And I reckon I could fit in maybe two more. Two more little moments. Let's see what we can... Let's see what we can muster. I think these need to be positioned just a little bit better. I don't want them too uniform. I like them a little bit more relaxed. But yeah. Sim should be able to get through there. No problem. Yep. Yeah, I'm into that. Okay. And then... We'll do a few more of these. Oh, should I do a few more tables and chairs? <gasps> we're going to do that instead. In fact, we're going to do the big ones. I'm going to bring a big communal table, I think. I mean, do I want to do... Maybe... In fact, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> Keep changing my mind. <laughs> I'm going to do a table here as well. Um, Bring you to there. And then do another one right by the window. Let's move you out a bit, though, because you are cutting in slightly, my love. Do two on these and then just do a six moment here like that. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah, I'm glad we went with the table. I think it would have been a bit overkill having all these lounge chairs here. We're not overkill, just not what I want, to be honest. Yeah, I'm vibing with that. Definitely need something up on the wall here. Maybe another kind of menu or something. Uh, and a few other little detaily bits. So let me go and grab them and um, I'll flop them about. So nothing too much. I've just hung a plant up over on this side here. I've put some more plants up on the tables. I've used this menu here as well, which is the bubble tea one, but we can just pretend it's like for cocktails or fruit juices and stuff. Mocktails, shall we say. They have not got their alcohol license in here. And I also put these uh, extractor like vents um, up on just, just above the bar. I didn't want to wrap it around like I did downstairs. And I fixed that by putting some vents on the outside and also on top of the roof now as well just so they have got some kind of vintage coming through and i'm kind of vibing with it i think i'm happy with how that is now i haven't done the toilets yet i've just put in a toilet and a sink just so this lot is usable and i will do them but i think what we need to do is get the basic shape down of the photography studio first before we do that so here we go the actual gallery itself i don't want it to be massive at all that there is probably perfect. I'm going to flop you into there. And I'm also going to bring you into there as well like that. And now, as I said, I want to cantilever the top area. So I'm thinking I do want to hang this out over the edge here. So hmm, we've got a wall there. So if I do one there, that means we'll have to get rid of these now. But I'm fine with that. Get rid of all of these. Oh, my Lord. Just get rid of them. Oh, oh, no shit. There we go. <laughs> Let's just get rid of them singularly. You can stay where you are. Um, didn't put any on that side. We are fine. Let's carry on. 
And then I'm going to cantilever, nothing massive, just cantilever out over on the other side a little bit more and hope for the best. Uh, and then I'm going to bring this one in. Oh, how dare you? This one into that area. Why is it not going up there? What are you doing? What's it doing? Oh, it's because of that stupid platform. Platforms have ruined it. Well, they make the game much more interesting, but they're fucking shit. <laughs> right, if I flop you into there like that. Yeah, I think that's going to be attractive. And then having like a small little urban park around it. I think you can vision. I think you can vision it. I'm sure. I'm sure you can. I don't know if I want to go down the route of having it the same tone as this. I think I want to do a bit more of a black box for the photography studio. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but what I may do, hmm, I was going to get rid of these, but I don't think I am. I think what I'm going to do is bring up a little platform like this. Bring that down there. Let's get down to that level. Tuck you in there, my love. And then whiffle you out over just one on the other side. Yep, just one's fine. That is cute. I think that would work. So we need wallpapers and windows on here. Now I'm unsure as to what wallpapers and windows we're going to use just yet. So let me have a little play around and I'll be right back. Okay, I had a play around. I had a play around with a few windows and a few beautiful wallpapers. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to have a lovely little black box moment, darling. We are going to flop in the uh, bricks down on the bottom. But then I was thinking, let's add the siding on top. We're going to add the siding on top like so. I'm going to use this trim. That I It's had a resurgence, the high tide exterior trim. It's my favourite at the minute. So I'm going to put that at the bottom and at the top. And we're also going to colour this in a black as well, which I'm going to do some skylights up here too, I think. Now, entrance to the door is going to be here. Entrance to the door, not that. Entrance to the photography studio is going to be through there, or the gallery itself. And then I want some kind of signage on the front here. So I'm going to use these windows. I'm going to use these windows here just to get in some natural light into spaces that I don't want windows on, you know, because we need wall space for like photos and that kind of vibe with the actual little gallery itself. Um, and the same over this side here as well. I'm going to add in those ones to here um, in a better position, please. We're going to have to bring them all back one. And... That just floods in a little bit of natural light coming in through there. I've put some stairs here. I did have to extend out slightly on the other side, which is not too bad. And then that brings the stairs up into this level here, which I'm I'm also going to do the brick throughout this whole lot. It's going to be a very dark space, this, which is what I want it to be. Unsure on the flooring yet. We'll concentrate on that another time. Um, stunning. Now I was thinking these windows here can go at the front of the build. I've, I'm just going to do two, I think. I'm going to do one there and then one there. And I'm kind of vibing with that. And then my thoughts were, oh, how dare you? My thoughts were, maybe they had the same architect as the um, museum, the Maishuno Moma. Uh, so the windows are his kind of statement piece. And I kind of like the way that that helped the shape of this build. I kind of like that. I, I think I need to pull these down a little bit more. I think you need to go down to about there, actually. Let's get rid of that now. And that is an, I think that's a nice looking little extension onto the build there. Onto the other side, I'm going to flood the gallery in with, with some light using these windows here, I think, and having a little like staircase moment uh, all the way around just on this box, just like that. Yeah, I like that. Do I want to do that on this side as well? No, we probably need as less light as possible in the photography studio. I know this is probably not going to be real to life. I know photography studios probably need a lot less light than what I'm going to give it because I am putting in some skylights as well. But we all need to remember ourselves and we need to bring ourselves back down to earth sometimes and just remember that this is just the Sims. It's not real life sloves. You know, it's not that serious. Right, I'm going to pop you to there. I think that's right. No, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not Aiden. <laughs> it needs to be... Nope, you need to come back again. Is that right? Am I doing this right? Let me see. Uh, yes. And then you are on that line there. Oh, so you two. You are right. Okay. Why did they look... Why does that look weird? Oh, they're really close together. How did I do that? I've not... Oh, they overlapped. They were overlapped. Okay. So 
they're better now then. Is that right? Yes. Yes, it is indeed. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Now, we are going to use this same sign, but I like the original swatch to this. And I think this would look great for the photography studio. So that's what I'm going to do. I think it was that one. Yes, I love that sign. I think that's lovely. So I'm going to maybe put the signage up here. Let me just see how high the other one is. That seems to be fine. I think it needs to go a bit higher. There we go. Yeah, that's cute. And then, as I said, I want to make most of this space into that urban park. So I'm not going to detail too much down here just yet. We'll do that all tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. So what I want to do is just maybe separate the uh, the entrance of the photography studio off off to where the like kind of like park area is going to be. I know it's going to be a small park, but I think it will work. I think we're going to be OK. Maybe I could use this fence here just so it matches in with that area. Let me see this. Mm, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I think it might need to be just glass, you know. If I did it in just the black and brought it back to about there. Uh, I don't really like where that is. Can you go right to the edge of the door? Do you know what? I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. So we made a little bit of a start today, don't we, loves? Nothing too much. It's probably a bit of a shorter part today, but I want to break this up for tomorrow as well. I think this is where we're going to leave it tomorrow. Um, today. Tomorrow, what we're going to do, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm unsure about it. I think that might change. Um, in fact, before we go, <laughs> let me just try all this one. Oh, oh, that's a bit tall, that. It's a bit tall. Can we bring it down a level? I've got... um. Notifications coming at my ears here. If you feel my phone vibrating, it's my best mate. I'm wondering what she wants. Um, what about you? No, that's not the vibe. I liked this, but I just think that was a bit too tall. Oh, that kind of gives it its own little moment. We could have like a little border of flowers here as well, plants. We'll do that. We will do that. Let's have a little look at you. Yes. Yes, we will do that indeed. Let's bring you to there and have a little border going down there. Do you see that kind of separates that area off and then leaves this all this space here that we're going to do that lovely little urban park walk around with lots of rocks and maybe a little water feature or something. I'm for it. Yes. But anyway, I'm going to leave it now. I want some ideas from you guys as well. If you've got anything that you think, oh, that would look good in here, please let me know down below because I love um, hearing from you. I really do. Collective effort, love. Community. Thank you. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. I'll be back with another part of this tomorrow. There will be no stream tonight on Twitch. Um, I am on pup, puppy sitting duties tonight, but I will be back tomorrow on Twitch. And the same, I will be back with another video. That's it. Goodbye.